Welcome back to a new episode where I want to focus on installing a local server on your computer. And this is actually something that we will need to have in order to write PHP code. Since PHP is a scripting language, which mostly runs on a server, we need to install a local server. And installing a server on your computer is pretty easy to do. And it's free, and it won't be harming your computer in any way. First of all, we need to download a software that allows us to run our local host. And there are a couple of different softwares that we could use, but I prefer to use XAMPP. And I know that a lot of other programmers do too. And since it's available from Mac, and I actually do get a Mac, it's pretty good for me to use XAMPP. So let's go to Google and write down XAMPP with a double P. So XAMPP allows you to work on a local server and test local copies of your website that uses PHP code and MySQL database. And once we activate XAMPP, we can access our local host. So what we need is the first one, which is created by Apache Friends. So let's click on it. And you can see that you can use XAMPP for Windows, Linux, and Mac. I will be focusing on downloading it for Mac, but if you use a different type of operating system, the downloading process is pretty easy and similar. So I recommend you to install it right now, since I've already got it, and you need to be aware that you need to know the place where you have downloaded it. Please pause the video, download XAMPP, and I will be seeing you in a second so we could continue on. So if you have downloaded and installed XAMPP, you could search on the top right of your screen for XAMPP. Open the folder. And once you have opened the folder, you can see that we have something which is called manager-osx. So let me show you what will happen if we try to access our local host and we do not have our web server working. Let's go back to the browser, type down localhost, and you don't need to add a .com or whatever after it. Hit enter, and you can see that the site cannot be reached. So let's go back to our exam folder, and let's click on manage-osx. Enter your password, and you can see that XAMPP opened a window with a welcome message. But what we want to focus on is the Manage Servers tab. So let's click on it. And you can see that we have three different servers. We have the MySQL database, the Pro FTPD, and we have Apache Web Server. With the MySQL database, you can create and use databases. With Pro FTPD, it's a free open source software server and we have Apache Web Server. And in order to run PHP code, we need to have Apache Web Server started. So let's click on it, and let's go to Start. And you can see that it's loading right now. And right now, we actually don't need the MySQL database and Pro FTPD. But you need to remember that whenever we are going to work with databases, so later on in my course, we actually need to activate MySQL database. But by then, we will probably activate it together. So let's go back to the browser. Let's refresh. And you can see, let me zoom out a little bit. And you can see that our local host is working right now. I already got some maps in here. You probably don't, and it's all right, because I have used PHP before. But in order to run your PHP code, we need to go back to our folder, and you can see a folder called htdocs. Open it, and htdocs is a directory of Apache that looks for files to serve on your domain by default. And if we go back to our local host, you can see that I have three maps. And if we go back to my htdocs, you can see that I have three maps as well. So what we need to do right now is to create a new folder. So let's right click, create a new folder, Enter your password, and you can name the folder whatever you want, but all our PHP documents will be inside of this folder. So I want to call it PHP underscore course. So if you have a code editor, click on it, open it, and what you can do right now is to drag your PHP course folder that we created inside your code editor. 
So let's open our PHP course map. And of course it's empty. So right click on it and let's create a new file and let's call it index.php. And if you have used HTML before, be aware that you need to use an .php extension, otherwise you cannot run PHP code. Let's hit enter. And let's write some text. Let's say, welcome to my course. Let's hit save. And let's go back to our local host. If we refresh it, you can see that our map php underscore course is created. And if we click on it, you can see that welcome to my PHP course is printed out. And be aware that PHP will automatically load your index.php. So whenever we click on a folder, the index.php will be loaded. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.